with T quilt and we're back to work on our next set of blocks this time we will be working with our C and D blocks and right now I have the C blocks in the background and I will also just put a copy of this up on the screen so you can do a print screen so you can get the layout so far so this month we will be working with block C and block D for block C you need to make three of them that are 18 and one half by six and one half inches unfinished so 18 by six is your finished size when it's sewn into the quilt top we're going to make three of those so i have my pieces here laid out ready to go and i will be trimming these down and then adding fabric pieces as i need to get them to size and then we are also going to make four d blocks and they will be 18 and one half by 24 and one half inches unfinished and when they're finished they will equal 18 by 24 inches in the finished quilt we're going to start with our C block we have done our A blocks and our B blocks at this point and as you can see on the layout block C is going to be attached to block B which those two when they're sewn together will be attached to block a i have brought in my design wall just to show you where i'm at we have been working with quite a few blocks at this point we have done all of our a blocks which are the yellow and then we've done seven b blocks which is our kind of orangey color and we are now going to make c and d so if you can note on the layout C is going to be attached to B right here and also to this B right here. And then this one, it goes on the side. So we're not ready to sew this to anything yet. So I am going to now plan what I'm going to put in this particular area because I have this A block, I have this B block, and I'm about to make the C block. So here I have something that I want to put into this section. So what I'm going to do is cut this piece down to six and a half inches wide. I will not be adding any strips to this. And then whatever I have left after I trim the sides, I will fill out so that it equals to 18 and one half inches when it's pieced together, these two pieces. So that's what I'm going to do first. And then I'll come back and work with my other two C blocks. I'm back with my piece. So when I trim this out, I actually trim this out to six and a half by eleven and a half. And so I wanted this to be six and a half by eighteen and a half. So I needed seven more inches. So I cut a piece that was six and a half by seven and a half because I had to add back in the seam allowance. And I have sewn it to the right side of my block. So now it's pressed toward the cotton print. And I'm ready to now go ahead and sew this onto here. And then once that's done, I am going to go ahead and sew my A piece onto the side. So I'm going to go ahead and do those two seams and I'll come back with this completed section. So I have my three pieces, my A, B, and C units all sewn together. And I just wanted to show you this step to show you how you're actually going to piece your units together. I'm going to go ahead and finish out my two C units and then I'm also going to go ahead and construct four D blocks and it's actually late tonight so I may come back tomorrow with the finished product but keep working it goes a little bit at a time but your quilt will grow in no time. I'm back with my completed block sections, my three block C's and my four block D's. It has been quite a while since I have recorded this. I've had a lot going on, so I can't remember exactly where I left off. But I do know that I needed to make three C blocks 
and they were 18 by 6 and I have one here that I'm showing you and then I will show you the other two that are on the display wall over there and here is one of my D blocks I needed to make four D blocks and they are 18 by 24 so I took my panel here and then added in this Route 66 print and then we have another sashing on the side on this one I did cut my piece out and then I added a piece across the top and across this side and then on the other side and he wants more of this orange included so I'm trying to use all of this fabric so that's why you will see it a lot and then at the bottom I added one of the smaller logos from the front of the t-shirt and then continued out with this same orange print so that's my D2 block for D3 I added some more of this orange added a little piece of the Route 66 added some black to separate and then added the what happens in the garage stays in the garage fabric and for my last D4 block I just sashed around it very simple all the same sashing all the way around so that is it for the D blocks the remaining C blocks that you were missing is the blue with the what happens in the garage stays in the garage right here and then also the senior frogs with the flame fabric is also a C block so I just added pieces to it once I trimmed out the t-shirt and made them all fit so what I don't remember if I told you since the last time we talked is I am going to start putting pieces together so I think that I did tell you that I added this C unit onto a B unit and then add the BC unit onto this A unit and I am now able to put one of my D units along this side so I'll go ahead and sew that down and I think that is all that I can sew once I sew one of my D units to the side so I'll just sew one of those D units to the side and then I will just show it to you in the photo gallery so I can go ahead and end the video here thank you all for watching if you have been sending me photos I will add them at the end if I decide to make any additional quilts using this with quilt blocks or any other types of blocks that I have I will also add them into the photo gallery if you'd like to participate and send me your quilt blocks as you're working on them you can send them to tquilts at tquilts.com and I will include them in the gallery thank you all so much for watching and participating and I'll see you next time bye bye